Hey there, Sharon Hornell here. Let's talk about mastering the art of negotiation when it comes to supersizing and growing your business. One of the probably best skills I ever acquired early on in my corporate career was the ability to negotiate. And I guess I went into my corporate career already having some skills at negotiating, not great, but I had enough to negotiate one of the best starting salaries out of college. Uh, actually, the best one for a woman out of the University of Minnesota my graduating year. So that was my claim to fame back then. Uh, I had a, I had a lot of experience. I'd had business experience since I was 13. Plus, I'd had a lot of different leadership experiences. So that gave me some ability to wiggle and negotiate and get myself a great starting salary, as well as some fun benefits. So. How do we negotiate? What is the art of negotiation? What are some of the key points and key things to remember? You know, we're negotiating all the time for everything, right? Every time we're in a relationship, we're negotiating who does what and deciding expectations and sharing expectations and communicating. But some things we want to do more intentionally than others. Uh, throughout my corporate career, I literally, I was in dozens and dozens of negotiation meetings. I think, uh, one of my corporate jobs, we worked with seven and eight different unions in one building. And so that meant there was a lot of negotiating going on all the time. And there was a lot of uh, disagreement among the unions over who could do what and who couldn't do what. And especially of what I could or could not do. I seem to always be crossing that line because it was uh, one of the first places I'd worked that had multiple unions. Other places I'd worked in manufacturing only had one union, and that was pretty easy for me to navigate. So I ended up being on the negotiating committee a lot for management in those situations uh, throughout my corporate career. And some of the things I learned about negotiation, and then of course I studied and I read up on it. I think my son probably recommended some of the best courses and the best uh, information that I've gotten on negotiations since leaving corporate America. I can't remember if it was a, an FBI or C, an FBI negotiator maybe has written a book. Can't remember his name right now. It's on my Audible, which of course I'm not looking and I didn't look up before I started this video, but excellent, excellent book, excellent uh, information about negotiating and, you know, hostage. He was in life and death hostage negotiating situations and uh, the things that we can learn from that in business and in, in life. So what are some of the things we want to keep in mind when it comes to negotiating to supersize our business and the art of negotiating? Because it, it there's some science to it. There's, of course, human interaction, human psychology and all kinds of things. But there's also a finesse and an art, just like in communicating any type of a message. There has to be some emotional intelligence and some humanity attached to it. So the first thing we want to do is we need to know what is our objective when we're going into a negotiation. Uh, different businesses, different industries, you know, with labor negotiations, there's one objective. Each side wants to get the best deal. Best deal for management, best deal for, for the union members. Uh, real estate negotiations, been involved in literally thousands and thousands of real estate deals and negotiating on one side or the other of those. Uh, and of course, you know, I knew what I wanted going into those. What was I willing to pay? What terms was I willing to accept? What was I you know, willing to offer for a property, et cetera? I had lots and lots of practice doing that. But it still came down to how did you present the offer, not just this is my offer, you know. So there's always part of that in it. I also learned another key thing in the art of negotiating is doing your research and doing your homework. There is no shortcut to getting the information you need in order to be a good negotiator. You need to know, you need to find data, you need to find information on the other party, you need to know what they want, what their pain points are, what they need in order to strike up a deal that I like to go for win-win deals, right? When we're, when we're negotiating something, I don't want to screw somebody, I want to make sure that both sides come out feeling like they've won. And that, I think, is the art of negotiating. Um, we want to master the art of persuasion, meaning we want to be able to articulate and communicate the value proposition. What is it that we're bringing to the table that is worth something that someone else wants to exchange for us with? I said that properly. Uh, we might use storytelling. We use framing. We use uh, highlighting benefits in order to present our case to get a 
the best possible outcome for us when we're negotiating, if that's what we're looking for. You know, sometimes we just want to close a deal and get it done fast. Other times, uh, we want to protect our interests in a business or something. Uh, we have to be able to negotiate and navigate through challenges and obstacles. I've been in negotiating meetings where, you know, you walk in the door and, and immediately one side is name calling and then the other side's name calling. And I was like, you know, they're like spitting insults back and forth. I'm like, okay, this is going to be a really, really long negotiation. And usually those negotiations just break down and fall apart before they get the outcome they want because people are coming into it with the wrong mindset. The mindset has to be, hey, in order for us to do a deal together, it's got to be win-win for both of us. Otherwise, why are we even talking? Uh, we need to leverage technology and data analysis. And this uh, a data analysis in order to make data-driven decisions. I contend that the person that does their most research or does the most uh, homework and digging when it comes to before the negotiation, that includes data and statistics and information uh, that can help to move the communicate and move the negotiation along is the one that wins the negotiation. You know, I was always taught whoever says a number first loses when it comes to like job offers and things. And I, I guess I, I believe that because I never said a number first and I never lost because I always got a really, I always got a better deal than if I would have opened my mouth and spoken first. So there's, you know, key pieces of advice like that out there that, you know, sometimes that works, sometimes it backfires on you. But in my experience has been, that is one that has held true. Uh, knowing what you want. And, and again, I've been involved in buying and selling businesses, buying and selling real estate. Uh, I've been involved in legal battles and situations which those aren't really a negotiation are they <laughs> been involved in a lot of labor negotiations uh a lot of partnerships and um collaborative efforts licensing agreements and things and all of them require negotiation whenever we bring on a new supplier or, or a new vendor that's a negotiation believe it or not you know they have their guidelines this is how we do business okay well that's great this is how I do business. And if we don't meet and agree on it, we're not going to be doing business. So love to know your experience with negotiating. Have you uh, felt like it's a skill that you need to continually hone and improve? Haven't done much negotiating lately. I guess in the past uh, five years or so, haven't really had much cause to have to negotiate. Uh, I do my research, I do my homework, and then I make my decision based on that. It's kind of how I decide who I am or am not going to work with. But love to know what you think are some of the most important aspects and skills in terms of the art of negotiation. Share in the comments below so we can learn from one another. And I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting way to supersize and grow your business. Have an awesome day.